Well, this Christmas is going to be a little bit different this year. Can I agree? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the plans that you had last Christmas for families to get together, it's just going to be a little bit different. You might not even have the whole festivities of Christmas. A few of you in town might, might get together. There might not be people coming from out of town that you've seen Just on social media, or you've seen through Zoom, or you've seen through technology, you know that they're good, but you want to see them, you want to hug them, you want to give them a big old high five or a noogie on the head. Christmas is going to be different. The conversations will probably be a little bit less of what happened that last week, and it'll turn into what happened this year. How have you coped? How have you dealt with? And by the way... We miss aunts, mother, grandfather, grandchild. Because COVID has taken lives. And not only COVID has taken lives, just life in general has taken lives. This Christmas, it might be a little bit different. Because people that you know near and dear are not long not with you anymore. This Christmas is going to be different. The Walking around doing Christmas carols, other than on Zoom, will be a little bit different. The Christmas Eve services, the things that you are used to will be a little bit different. But let me encourage you, out of all that negativity, notice what has not stopped. Notice what has not been canceled. Notice what is still going on. Christmas. Churches has closed, businesses have closed, things have shut down, things are different, but Christmas is not. Jesus has come, and he came as a baby, born into a virgin that was prophesied about. But this virgin birth, as we're about to find out, is not this calm, collective, everything's okay. In that year, zero, let's call it, zero, everything was difficult. You today will probably will be able to relate more than ever before the Christmas story. We are going to read the Christmas story. And challenge you with some things at the end. But this time, read the Christmas story as if you were there, as you have felt in 2020. 